All right, how's it going everyone? So I wanted to do a really quick walkthrough of how I personally like to deploy my next applications these days. I like using AWS Amplify. Um, it's really cheap. I haven't been charged, I don't think, a single penny for deploying my application to Amplify. I get charged more for using S3. So just to give you some perspective, I have this little SaaS product that worked on the kind of generate AI icons, and I have that deployed to Amplify as well. And I think overall, the bill that I have had to pay for in Amazon I don't think Amplify actually charges me anything yet. It's basically $0 every month. The thing that costs money is actually storing images into S3, which has charged me, I think, 28 cents last month, I believe, or something like that. So this is a real main reason I like using Amazon, other than I'm already kind of familiar with it. Uh, I do think that you don't get charged that much for having stuff deployed, and you're really only charged for your usage. So if you don't have anyone using your application, you're going to get charged pennies for it, okay? By the way, a little plug, I have a course that kind of walks you through how to build a very similar site with minimal features to Amplify. We're also using Stripe to collect payments and we're using the Dolly API to generate icons. So if you're interested in checking that out, I got a link and a discount code in the description. All right, so you guys are probably tired of my self-marketing. Let's just go ahead and go to the repo that I have. And I created a new one called Amplify Example. So the idea is if we take the code that we have here, I have a T3 stack uh, project set up which is basically just set up with TRPC and Tailwind, right? I don't have Prisma set up. I don't have a database set up, but the process is still the same. I just don't want to go and like make a super based database and get that all set up. So to get this working, let's just go ahead and add everything. I'll just go ahead and say commit, initial commit. And I'll just go ahead and push that to main. Okay, so now all the code should be in my repo. If I go back to my repo and refresh it, you'll see it there. So Amplify is an AWS service that you can use to basically point to a Git repo. It's going to determine what type of application you have in the repo and it's going to deploy it for you. So let's just go over here. I'm going to say host uh, web app and we're going to go click GitHub, click next, or I guess it's called continue. And we are going to go ahead and select a repo. So the one I just made is called Amplify example. And you can select the branch you want to deploy from. I will click main. And then down here we have next button, which is a little bit hidden by my... Um, screen cut off. So let's just click next. And that's going to go ahead and look at your directory and it sees a couple of things. For example, it notices that this is the next project and it uses a dot next for your base directory. Um, pretty straightforward. Sometimes you'll have to go and you have to edit this thing and you'll have to add in some additional commands here to set up your environment variables. So like right here, you might have to say like database URL is equal to, uh, I don't know, database URL. And then you have to put that in a .env.production file, okay? And if you read through the AWS Amplify docs, they actually tell you how to like do this. Um, but it's kind of the same thing I just told you, right? So you can kind of echo out different environment variables to your env.production. You can click save. I'll just go ahead and delete that for right now and cancel. Um, and then if you do advanced settings, you can actually start entering in those different environment variables so that they are actually protected in secret from anyone else um, able to access them. So let's just click next. And once this is all set up, let's just do a save and deploy and see here, it does notice that we are using Next.js. Pretty cool. Save and deploy. And then that will take you through a process of basically building your application and deploying it out to AWS Amplify. So at this point, it kind of like spins up a Docker image and starts building your stuff. And then it kind of gets it all set up and then it deploys it somewhere. I do want to talk about the, the next important step, which is like setting up a domain. So if at some point you decide that, hey, you know, I, I actually want to like make, buy a domain and get this set up, you basically go to add domain, you type in your domain name here. Um, so I'll just say like example dot web dev Cody. Um, but you can basically set up a subdomain in this case. I'll just go ahead and remove the root here. I don't want that. But if you have a root domain, you could set it up there as well. And then you can set up some redirects if you want. I'll click to not do that. And when you click save, that's going to generate a SSL certificate. And it's also going to give you a, a C name that you can add to your, your domain provider, right? So I'm using Google domains for my instances. So if you go to your DNS settings of your provider, they give you this record. You basically add it in. And then it's going to verify the SSL certificate for you automatically after like a minute or so. Let me just do this for you. I'm going to go to WebF Cody. I'm going to go to the DNS settings just so you guys have like a real example of how they get this all set up. So I'm going to create a new record here. And then I'm going to go back to that console, which is this. And I'm going to go copy everything up to example. Type it in here and verify that this matches like the actual thing that you had set up in your console here. 
And then we're going to do a C name and then we're going to copy this whole thing here. So we'll say C name, paste this in. So while that's trying to like get all set up, this could take a while, it depends on how fast your DNS propagates. I'm going to click on actions and I'll say view DNS record. And we can also copy this thing over here. I'll say example. And we want to basically point example.webfcody.com to this CloudFront distribution. Let's just go ahead and say example. And then that is a type of C name. And we're going to go ahead and point it to the CloudFront.net. So I'll do C name CloudFront.net. Click save. And at this point, we should be good. You see that the SSL configuration is good. Um, and if we go back to the deployment, um, this thing probably needs to take some time to like activate. But if we go back to the deployment here, uh, which you can do by clicking on this amplify example, um, notice that the deployment's all green. So, so everything seems like it's working. Everything seems like it's working. Let's go to example.webfcody.com. And when I refresh the page, you'll notice that our T3 stack application is actually deployed here. And I think it's working with the API as well, because this message actually comes from the API. Let's verify that. It's always good to verify your deployed code, make sure nothing is like broken. But if you notice in the network request down here, it does a request to example.webdevcody.com slash API TRPC, hello, and we get back some data. So at this point, our T3 stack application is fully deployed. We got a domain, everything is good to go. And I personally really like um, Amplify. A lot of people talk poorly about Amplify, but I think in terms of click ops, like if you're just gonna go and click through the UI and get yourself deployed, let's say you have a small business or a startup, you have a side project, Overall, getting your stuff deployed to Amplify is actually pretty easy. Granted, there's other better solutions out there which um, are going to be a much better user experience, in my opinion, like Vercel is probably a better user experience. But again, their license says you can't have like paid products on their free plan. So if you want something that actually makes money, this is a good alternative solution as well. I haven't tried Netlify. People say Netlify is really good. But again, the main selling point to me using AWS Things is that's what I do full time at work. I do a lot of Amazon stuff. I do a lot of Terraform, a lot of infrastructure as code, getting all this stuff set up. So I'm very familiar with it, but I understand that using Amazon services can sound daunting. But as you saw, like I just clicked through the Amplify console and got a fully deployed Next.js uh, T3 stack application out, and it wasn't that hard to do. Yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you all. I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers and ask questions. I got a newsletter you're welcome to subscribe to if you want to maybe get some tips and tricks in the future about web development or get updates on any courses I create. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So like always, have a good day. Happy coding.